Come on. Come on, snow plows, get it. Get it, snow plows, get it. Come on now, come on, snow plows, get it. Signs are blowing over. Oh. You know it's serious out when Starbucks is closed. I mean, how often does Starbucks close? All right, come on. If you want a pair of shoes, just beware that I am pretty famous for not being the best rapper, meaning wrapping birthday presents, Christmas presents, and yes, now running shoe boxes. It just, you know, but it's gonna, it's gonna do the trick is the bottom line. Oh my, patience with the wrapping. Oh my goodness, we're, we're three down, seven to go. Live stream. Wi-Fi. Going live twice this week. Oh man, back in the studio. Monday we did the 10,000 subscriber giveaway and tonight we're talking about track and field and then marathon racing. Of course, we're going to hone in on the Boston and London Marathon. So if you didn't make it to the live stream last night, that's okay, but it will be available upper right hand corner uh, by the time this is published on Thursday morning. All right, going live, getting set up in here and just making sure the Wi-Fi is working even though there's a blizzard outside is a little crazy. It's a little crazy, but we're going to make it. We are going to make it. Yeah, we're going to make it. We are going to make it. Yes, we are. Packing up the running shoes is going well inside. And again, I'm not the best rapper, so a little patience there. Uh, and the live stream was amazing. It was amazing. We talked, as, as I already mentioned, track and field and marathon running. Uh, but I decided at the last minute to give away a pair, basically a pair of on running shoes that I actually, I like them, but I just don't need them. I'm not using them. And so congrats to Marcelo for winning those. I will get those wrapped up tonight for you. And usually I put the shoe that I ran in right here, but I'm afraid to do that because this, all this snow is about to melt. Uh, after my run today in the bomb cyclone, I actually put them outside to dry a little bit. I thought the wind, but sure enough, the wind blew the snow right onto the look at the, look at that side and look at that side. Kind of crazy. It was a crazy storm out there. So I'm going to put these down here. Lovely day for a run. And so for today in the bomb cyclone and what is a bomb cyclone? Basically in a weather pattern, when a weather pattern drops 24 bars of pressure and don't ask me what a bar is, but that's, that's what I'm reading. 24 bars of pressure in 24 hours that qualifies it as a bomb cyclone, meaning it gets really windy and usually there's a lot of rain or wind. And so sure enough, I think we hit some records today for the lowest pressure in the state of Colorado ever. Kind of insane. Well, on the run, out in the snow, you saw me trudging there. I was going to go six, six to seven miles today, depending on how I felt after yesterday's 20 miler in the Audios 4. And basically I made the decision driving to the running location. I said, okay, I could easily go six to eight and just call or six to seven and just call it a day, still hit the volume that I need to for the week that I'd like to hit for the week. But I said, this is a perfect, okay. First of all, remember what I said three weeks ago, above tree line, you saw me, I got annihilated up there by the wind. Gonna keep going here. Don't give up. Don't give up.
I almost was blown over a couple times, like legitimately blown to the ground. I had to kind of brace myself against the rocks. It was inc it was insane. It was insane. So that is point number one, strategy number one, purposefully expose yourself to difficult situations. That's right. On the way, I was driving to the run today and it just crossed my mind like, okay, I could go six. It's crazy out, 50 mile per hour winds, crazy snow things are flying all over the place out here, but I made the decision to go from six to 10 because I wanted to put myself into a more uncomfortable situation where my feet are wet. I wasn't really cold, but just like I had the goggles on, it was insane out there. But now it's like I have a slight, I almost wanted to go further. I wanted, I was thinking, oh gosh, maybe I should go 13, like a half marathoner, but I, I kept it within reason, but I did go further just to develop a little bit of mental toughness and dealing with an uncomfortable situation because guess what? On race day, it's gonna hurt. Whatever race I'm running, whatever race you're running, at some point in the race, it should hurt. Like you should be in pain. And that's when the mental side, the mental game kicks in and you focus and you remember the uncomfortable and difficult situations you chose with your will, you chose to put yourself in and then you're like, boom, I got this. I can finish this 10K. Cause guess what? I was running in a blizzard, you know, three weeks ago. Anyway, that's what I did today. It was amazing. It was fun to be out there. A little strategy that I use in my training to apply to race day, uh, just uncomfortable situations. And oh man, were my feet wet and I wanted to stop early. And we are gonna go with cyclone as the key word. And do we have any Iowa State alumni watching? Anyone out there, let us know in the comments. Anyway, that is the key word, cyclone. And totally different topic. I wanna continue to try and bring you guys uh, opportunities to buy affordable running shoes. So uh, I wanna do better, basically, uh, basically, I want to provide a deal of the week video at some point where it's really honed in and specific uh, because there are some great deals to be had in the online purchasing space. Well, finishline.com, at least as of last night, had the Nike Zoom Fly flying it in the $60 to $80 range, depending on which color you were interested in. But I checked this morning, and sure enough, the sizes are going kind of quick. So if you have a small foot or a big foot, you might be in luck to buy a very, very great deal on the Nike Zoom Fly Flyknit. I will link to the, the page down below in the description. Anyway, my game plan is to every Friday, at some point, basically create a video that gives you all the best deals of the week that I have found on running shoes, whether it's from Running Warehouse, Jackrabbit, Finish Line, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, whatever the case may be. Now, of course, always go support your local running shoe shop, but sometimes you gotta get a shoe ASAP, and yeah, you gotta pinch those pennies just a little bit. So anyway, Nike Zoom Fly Flying It. Hopefully they have a, some sizes left, but they were going quickly. Go check the link below. Again, 60 to $80. And then I saw the SP version for like $53. It was insane. That's an amazing deal for that shoe. So I gotta go inside and finish up the wrapping of the shoes, and then I'll get you the question of the day back inside. All right, what a day. Oh man, cyclone, cyclone. Woo! Now that's a pretty good pile right there. Not too shabby. Oh man, all right, gonna go to the post office tomorrow, get these off to you guys. In the future, I think I'll be able to get them out the door a little quicker now that I've done it once. Kind of figuring out the best system for shipping and you know wrapping them up in this brown paper and then putting the address on it's just you know we're just learning as we go trying to figure out the best system for getting running shoes out there to the world out there to the folks that really really need them and um it's exciting and again uh thanks everyone for tuning into the live streams for these giveaways and frankly we're probably just getting started here because Another pair arrived today that we opened at the live stream, another pair of Skechers. And then I know for a fact that some Solomon shoes are on the way. And uh, Solomon shoes are pretty expensive, so I think they're 
basically brand new, like never even worn outside, or if they were worn outside, like just one time. So anyway, it's exciting, and uh, thank you for the support. Oh man, through the super chats and everything else. All right, question of the day. Where was, where did you buy your last pair of running shoes? So whether it was online or a local running shoe store, if it, either one, like give them a shout out. You know, I maybe don't put a link to their website because sometimes uh, YouTube marks uh, links as spam. Just put like a, the name of the running shoe store and maybe we can get some promotion going for especially those local stores. But for me, I think the last pair was the Adidas uh, Audios 4s that I actually bought with my own money. And yeah, they were, they were from Running Warehouse. However, I guess I went to Runner's Roost last week for the Zoom Fly Flyknits. Anyway, that's the question of the day. Where did you buy your last pair of running shoes? Was it a good experience? How did it go for you? For example, I just learned about 6pm.com. Who knew? And I, I've never used them. I haven't really explored their website much, so I'm not endorsing the website, but it might be something for you to look at, 6pm.com, and who knows, maybe they have some amazing deals on there that fit your shoe style, foot size, etc., etc. All right, oh man, time for a post office run. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm.